very good morning to you. Now this is to introduce my video for Sunday the 17th of May 2020. We are at the Crazy Golf right next door to the Metropole Hotel which is the project this Crazy Golf is the project of the homeless people of Blackpool via the Street Angels. Now the first thing that I must do is to thank everybody for the wonderful comments and support I received from my last video part 180. That was my first video that I was able to make due to the complete shutdown of the country. However that has been relaxed slightly now so I can return hopefully to my Sunday survey which this is one of them. This will be part 181. Now again I want to make sure that I thank everybody for everything including their kind comments. Now this Sunday survey which you're about to see is over the four days Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and today Saturday. I do hope that you enjoy it so I'm going to start the video now and I do as said thank everybody and hope you enjoy this. Thank you all very much. Hello everybody and welcome. Now to start I'm at the entrance of Topping Street. It's the entrance side where the Winter Gardens is. Now I just want to show you this. I have shown this in the past. It's a row of three or four shops. Oh there's all the road works taking place. All new road and pavements here all being done. Now across the road there's a parade of three shops with obviously accommodation or something above them. I've shown this many times in the past and it's turned out very very nice. corner or rather I'm just going to cross the road here okay, I'll just let this car pass just going to turn around the corner and I would like to show you this there is now extensive work extensive work on these other parade of shops and it's going to make a fierce difference so we'll keep our eyes open on what eventually opens up here but as said I think it makes a fierce difference and I'm just going to show you all the contractors vans that are involved in this renovation of this part of the town. And now exactly opposite, I can show you this. These are the new signs for this hair and beauty shop that will open up when they get the okay to. Now this shop, a couple of months ago, was empty. And as you can see, it has been taken and this company will open as soon as they possibly can. It's a hair and beauty shop. It looks like it's fitted out very nice and there's a very, very nice sign here which, as you know, is also important. A very, very nice sign. the promenade now oh and this is so handy a Land Rover taking one of the lifeboats down to the sea for a training exercise I've 
followed the Land Rover and the lifeboat. However, in front, can you see that lake? I couldn't walk through it, it was too deep. So you see the Land Rover and the lifeboat making its return journey back to the lifeboat station. And I hope now to show you the size of the beach of Blackpool at no time. I hope it, I hope this is captured. Look how look how large it is. Now this is that lifeboat. And you can see now some mechanics from the lifeboat station. They're going to attend to the engine. Just a minor, minor attention needed here. And they allowed me to show you what they are doing. And a look inside of the lifeboat itself. And now I'm just going to thank the two members of the lifeboats for letting me make this video. Thank you. Oh dear, oh dear, I've gone to the dogs, I really have. Oh dear. No, this is a lovely lady and her three dogs. I'll let her introduce them. Hello, this is Bandit, Bella and Inde, and my name's Janine. Thank you very much, Janine. Thank you awfully. Have a lovely day, and you dogs. Thank you, likewise. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Well. Bye, -bye. Bye. Very good morning everybody. It's Thursday now, just coming up to 10 o'clock in the morning and we are outside Abingdon Street Market. I'm standing at this angle due to very, very strong spring-like early morning sunshine. It's very bright. Now, what I've got to do first of all today is to take you to somewhere I showed on my first video back, part 180. Now, we visited a place and what's happened is, I think I may have misled people and made an error. So I've got to return and correct this. So we're going to do this, first of all, on this morning. That man was videoing us, didn't it? Now, where we have to visit is the coffee bar. Now, this is what's happened. This is a very well-known and wonderful coffee bar. It's called The Hive. Now, what's happened here, what's happened here is I must make it clear. Hive is still here and will remain here forever and ever. They're just serving takeaway food, etc. Now, the owner, a very, very nice man, John, has kindly, at no cost to these people, these very nice people who used to be trading in Abingdon Street Market, he has let that store who used to sell vegetables, etc., use this free of charge and anything. He's a very, very nice man, and also, to carry the story on, and it's a wonderful story, John and this company, Hive, is producing each day, yes, each day, 300 meals for the homeless. He prepares them, he makes them, and they are collected each day for the homeless people. 300 of them. So I do hope that I have made this right with, this, with these premises, the hive, and I'm very pleased to have done this. And I can tell you, it's worked out very well. It looks, it looks marvellous inside. 
now that I've corrected that fully, I'm going to take you to Blackpool's conference and hotel build. I'm going to keep the camcorder going just in case people aren't certain still of where we are. Now, just passing the winter gardens. Opposite, there's the St John's Church there. Just got to pass these shops. It's a cracking morning here. What? It really is. And the weather forecast for the immediate future is very much to continue like it is at the moment. Look at that, we've, we've, we're out of the shadows now and hit with very strong summer-like sunshine. Here we are. Oh, that's good. We're going to hit the shadows again. That's marvellous. Now, this, we've arrived now at the build of Blackpool's Hotel and Conference Centre. inside as you can hear. I'm just going to close the camcorder and take you to the other entrance of the build. Now halfway down the security boarding there is an area at the moment that is open. I have asked if I can just just squeeze without going into the build so as you can see this view that I have. There we are, that's what's going on at this hotel and conference centre build. Have just moved a couple of paces to show you the last views of this build. Coming along very, very nicely indeed. However, I just quickly mention, obviously, that all these builds, with the graces of respect to all the, all the suppliers, obviously, they're going to be a bit... They've obviously lost some time with these builds due to the supplies of everything. So that completes our visit to this Blackpool's Hotel and Conference Centre build. Now all our visits today are all in a very short area, very short space. So we can visit now this build of topping sticks. I showed you it yesterday with all the all the tradesmen working working on these shops here. Well it's surprising the difference this morning from yesterday. Look at this shop front here. And that was, that's all been done in virtually one day. Look, look at the difference. Well, that's very nice. We're going to keep an eye on this. And the joy of it is, as said, the three areas that we visited, 
all within probably 200 yards, if that. Very good morning to everybody. It is Friday now, just after 10 o'clock in the morning, and looking out onto the beach at low tide and the lovely, lovely view of the sea. Now today, I'll be out for quite a while with you because I think I'm going to take you, first of all, we're going to journey to Stanley Park. Just going to have a quick walk through there and then we will come back into town and we will go around various venues. So I'll make my way now to Stanley Park. I am going to take the opportunity of a very, very nice pleasant walk. So I will see you later. And as said, after that, we will return to the town centre. We have arrived now at Victoria Hospital. That's the building in front of you, a small part of this hospital. Now, if I was to show you this, this is the second part of that Hall's standard park actual golf course. I'm just going to turn you around. And we now have to cross the main road to actually enter Stanley Park itself. The golf course is split into two parts. Unfortunately, I think that at the moment there's a permanent application to be made for where we've just viewed for a major complex. Anyway, that's another subject. So now we are in the entrance of Stanley Park and we'll have a we'll have a nice easy walk through it. I'll be turning the camcorder on and off as obviously it would be too long to video everything. Oh, I'm just going to walk through here and show you the other part of the golf course. This part is not affected, I don't think, in that resort or entertainment leisure complex. I believe it's only the other side of the golf course. It's an ongoing thing. Nobody about at the moment. However, Oh, there's a couple up there in the distance. I expect there will be more people as the day progresses. So we'll, we'll go back now into the park itself. This lovely wooded type area, this will take us to the areas of the lake. Here we are, we can see two golfers there. I've just walked to my right and we're right back on the golf course. This is just one part of this very, very big lake. And you can see there is a nice footpath that will take you to the main area of the lake and the park. Just approaching now the centre of this very, very big park and you can see the lake now. When things return to normal you can row a boat on here or use one of the park's motorboats. Very, very nice experience indeed, it really is. And 
find some of the swans and the ducks that live on this lake. And there's the ice cream parlour, open for business, selling lots and lots of ice cream. I expect they will do very, very well indeed through this day. Well, this morning, the fire brigade are here and they're on a training exercise. One of the many parts with lovely flowers and there's a waterfall here as well when in operation. Our first view of the athletic stadium within this Stanley Park. Blackpool Council own all of this. Some very interesting athletic events are held here. A look at the last bend before they approach the winning line, which would be exactly opposite where you're looking now. There we are towards the grandstand. The winning line would be over there. This is the last actual bend of the circuit here. The Garden of Remembrance. This is ever so well kept. And of course it's had all the flowers and the plants have had this lovely sunshine to help them appear and show themselves. And of course the groundsmen have kept it well watered. So that's our visit to the Garden of Remembrance within Stanley Park. 
would now like to show you all the areas that are available for you to enjoy active sport. The first area is the tennis courts here. And this area here is for netball. And of course, no activity area or sporting area would be without a football pitch. And in front is one superb football pitch. Now I can hope, now I hope you can see this past the football pitch you can see some other goals now that's where they play hockey that's the hockey pitch there. and another area of Stanley Park's athletic arena which I showed earlier in this video just a couple of clips ago Now the last thing that I would like to show you is this very, very nice indeed play area for children. Everything here. However, at the moment, due to obvious reasons, this part of the park, this playground for children, is still closed and will remain closed until further notice. Now, that also completes our visit to this very big Stanley Park. I've only shown you just over half of it, to obviously it would make the length of the video too long, but I hope you've enjoyed it, something different. And now I will move back on now to the town centre. We have returned into the town now and just going to visit the site of the Premier Inn. The tower crane has said that has now gone and that leaves that blue hoist and all the scaffolding this is the blue hoist and yes things are as always progressing very well here at this site of the Premier and a view of the side elevation and we finish our visit to the Premier Inn with will be for the hotel and the restaurant. So we now move on from the site to close this video for Friday a view of the front of the Sands Venue Resort Hotel and lowering the camcorder to show you across the road the kiosk that has opened and also the 
passing traffic. Central Pier and of the beach. Now, previous to closing this video, I've wondered if I should mention this. A most awkward situation, really, for myself. I'm I think I will mention it. I'd rather mention it than not mention it. Now, can I please point out to one and all that in the town of Blackpool, in the town itself, and on the seafront of where I am, there are no toilet facilities that are open and available. And that's my message. There are no toilets available to anybody within Blackpool. So that's the little message. Now I'm off home now and to edit this video for just the Friday there's quite a bit of work for myself to do. I'm thrilled with that. So I'll see you tomorrow on the Saturday. Bye bye. The Iceland shop across the road. So that must mean that we are now going to walk down one of the sides of Topic Street. A very good morning to you. It is Saturday now, the 16th of May, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy this little walk along Topping Street. Now our recent visit here would have shown that this side of the road, the pavement area, was not yet attended to. However, this is what I would like to show you. Look at this lovely pavement, all newly laid over the last couple of days and also more work attended to to the road. This is a very, very nice finish to this pavement. It is so wide. Also the other side, so wide. A lot of space allowed for the pedestrians. This is going to be one cracking road in the middle of Blackpool. To go well with all the other work that has been carried out on the pavement and roads in this area. The end of the cage now of this first cage and you can see there's a walkway now right through to the other side of the road if you wish to do that. Continuing down and we are approaching now Wood Street which runs to the left and to the right. And now on the right hand side you will see all the drainage and sewer work that is being taken place and now this is the only part now that's really got to be finished off in Topping Street and it will be one cracking road. Well we're coming to the end now so again I do hope that you have enjoyed and and valued this this work that has been carried out down Topping Street. Coming now to the end of Topping Street. Just a view of these shops that I have always shown. Now I'm at an awful angle it's not very good filming at all, but I will be covering them further when I get the proper angle to actually do this.
and we will pay a visit to Blackpool's Conference Centre and Hotel, which is, as you know, virtually just across the road from Topping Street. The building site here today, all quiet. I expect they're all on a well, a well-earned weekend off. Just close the camcorder down to take you to the other entrance of the build. And here we are, I'll just show you a quick view of the build from here. There we are, Blackpool's Conference Centre and Hotel, which has made excellent progress. Now this is Coral Island, known throughout the country. Now they are not open, obviously, as they are an arcade. However, next door we have one of the kiosks, one of the many kiosks that operate outside of Coral Island. And this one has opened up today. And it's got everything in here for you. Ice cream, sticks of rock, little souvenirs, all jars of sweets and everything. It's a cracking little kiosk, it really is. So I'm going to thank the management for allowing me to video it and if you want anything on the seafront it'd be well worth your while coming and visit this kiosk right outside Coral Island.